Fabo is what he calls himself. He's a street artist based in Los Angeles. He previously created a viral image showing Ted Cruz as a tattooed bodybuilder. You see it on the screen. Now, this past weekend, he put up a series of posters around L.A. calling out Hollywood for making, quote, unwatchable movies from unreadable books. Ironically, it's a phrase taken from the movie True Romance, which you can't watch now because it was made by Quentin Tarantino, who he calls a celebutard. Sabo joins us from L.A. Sabo, thanks for coming on. So, yeah, thanks you for have, having me. You have a, behind all this art is what seems to be a pretty coherent critique of Hollywood. What is it? Well, well, I would hope so. I've loved Holly, uh, politics my whole life, so, yeah. uh, you know, I live in L.A., and I'm in the belly of the beast, so why not punch it every now and then? So and what, that, what that are you young saying man that about was just talking about not. What am I saying about L.A.? Um, yeah. I love L.A., but uh, the, these entertainers, we welcome them into our homes because we find them entertaining only to be punched in the head with their politics, and uh, yes. I think that's kind of rude. Do you think movies are getting worse? Uh, yeah, maybe we're just getting dumber. I'm not sure um, if they are or not. But, but that young man that was talking about not wanting walls, he obviously didn't see those huge walls that were dividing us from them or the walls that were separating <laughs> us from all those Hollywood parties after the show. Yeah, I noticed that. I, the only illegal immigrants in those parties were serving the canapes. So you put up these posters that I think are clever. I mean, well, they are clever, whether you agree with them or not, and they're smart and they're funny. And you put them all over Los Angeles, and they go directly at your hometown industry. What kind of response have you gotten from that? I've gotten a great response. Um, I, I kind of gave up and just started doing what I love. And when I did that, all of the underground conservatives in Hollywood just sort of came out. And while I, I in the beginning, I was getting hate from the left, as time progressed, I started seeing that there was more and more conservatives and Republicans in Hollywood. Unfortunately, they're just kind of hiding because they know to hide. So if you're a conservative in Hollywood or if you have unorthodox views, if you're not with everyone else, I mean, you must feel very, very isolated, but you must also have to think through what you believe. You can't take anything for granted if you're you. No, no, I don't. I, I love a good fight. Um, I'd rather be in the mix of it. I don't like being comfortable. I actually love liberals. I love partying with them, hanging out with them. I just don't want them governing over me because they want to take control over every aspect of my life. There's been this weird reversal where you're a conservative and yet you're the insurgent giving the finger to the comfortable people in power, to the privileged in your world. You're doing what artists are supposed to do. Do you see that? Uh, yes, I do, and, and I'm disappointed with a lot of political artists because the past eight years, Barack Obama was dropping a bomb every eight to 20 minutes, and uh, they said nothing. And uh, now you can't shut them up. And, you know, th that told me something about them. They're, they're just very much establishment artists. Yeah, they certainly are. Do you know any artists who agree with you? You know, I know, I know some. Uh, I, I don't think they're as mean as I am. I mean, you know, I try and be kind of brutal with what I do, and I notice you kind of uh, blurred out my poster. <laughs> we have but. to. This is live television, not a cable network. Um, but anyone who's yeah, interested yeah. can go online, and your site has them unexpurgated, and you can see exactly what they say. But we're not, we, can, we can't, uh, we're going to have to violate the integrity of your art. Uh, for the sake of our standards. Um, but you think that there are other artists who agree fundamentally, or any of them saying so out loud? You know, they're out there. I I've heard some. It it's like, I don't know a lot of them. I I'm not going to tell you I know a lot of them. Uh, not that not to do what I do, but, yeah. you know, I I'm sure. Uh, I, I notice there's a whole crop of young uh, conservatives out there. I can't wait to see what they bring to the table in the near future. Yeah. I, I suspect they will. They really are the outsiders. Sabo, thanks for joining us.